Customizing keyboard shortcuts is a sign that you are becoming an advanced computer user. There is one in Toon Boom Harmony that if we customize it, it does make life much, much better. So normally while I'm trying to work, if I want to initiate playback so that I can watch my scene play, I have to click on the button. Now we have shift return, which sometimes works, but I can't get it to now stop. You know, that is okay, but it's not great. So most video programs are set up like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, these other timeline based programs. When you hit the space bar, it plays. Now here, when my camera window is active, if I hold down the space bar, it allows me to pan around in my scene. So I can adjust you know, where I am. So if I'm zoomed out or if I'm really zoomed in, I can move to a different section of the screen. But if I hit space bar in my timeline, well, nothing happens. So let's change that. If I go to keyboard shortcuts, which is under edit if you're on Windows, under the Harmony Premium drop-down menu if you're on the Mac. And the first thing that I want to do is to create a new keyboard set name. So I'm going to just call this one John. And then what we want to do is we want to change toggle playback and that's under general. Now if you're like, okay, where is it? I can't find it. You can type in what you're looking for here. If I start typing in playback, you can see toggle playback and we have the shift enter shift return is the keyboard shortcut that's there. So what I am going to do with that one selected and we can see there's the keyboard shortcut up here. It's the keyboard shortcut to play back frames. So what I'm going to do is clear what's there, click in the box and now hit the space bar. And when I do that, we have two options. I can replace, because it's the free pan and zoom option. But if I choose duplicate, and now hit OK. Now, when my cursor is in the camera view, I still get the free pan and zoom. But if my active window is the timeline, the space bar is now the key that I can use to toggle playback, making it like all the other timeline based programs that you may be used to using. So this is a fantastic discovery that uh, I can't take full credit for. I was working with some of my students and they said, hey, can we do this? And we tried it and it worked. And I wish I'd done this years ago, like more than a decade ago inside the various uh, Toon Boom animation tools. So there you go. Hopefully that tip is going to make your life a whole lot nicer.